tomorrow is the greatest day ever. Why is it the greatest day ever? Tomorrow is sleep. <laughs> For you. I do not know For that. For you. Yeah, but I do not know that feeling. For several days now, <laughs> and I, I cannot wait. Sleep is for the week. Okay. Well, I mean, look, I'm not trying to be like P. Diddy, who doesn't sleep, apparently, if you've ever heard any of the legendary tales, that dude literally does not sleep somehow. Yeah. Like, he, they, they just fucking, I don't know if he went a hyperbolic time chamber or something, or he's got a time machine, and he just he's made just duplicates three, of himself. Just three full days a year, just like... Just Jesus. Day. Full days. Oh, so he only has, what is that? Um, a little bit. 72 hours of sleep? A year. A year? Wow. That would be really ridiculous. That would be ridiculous. Anyways. Anyways, so I love doing this to you. I, I've, already, I've already recorded. <laughs> you fucker. I knew it. <laughs> Welcome to Podcastrophy. This is episode seven. Oh, lucky number. Oh, yeah. My lucky number. Wow. Time traveling again. I recorded episode eight yesterday. That's awesome. How did it go? Oh, it went excellent. I can't wait to have already not heard it because <laughs> I haven't heard it yet, but I'm going to be hearing yeah. it at some point in the very near soon I, I, future. I had a hard time deciding whether or not, like, which episode was going to be which. Oh, and but which I figured, order? I figured this would be cool, like, all because Andrew and I's episode sevens are this week. Oh, dude, us. you guys Spider Man Daredeviled it. Yeah, you have so... no idea what that means, probably. No. <sighs> okay, so episode or issue 16 of Spider Man. Like, Amazing Spider-Man issue 16 in the old days featured a story with Daredevil. Mm -hmm. Daredevil issue 16 featured a story with Spider-Man. Nice. They had a perfect crossover, but interestingly enough, they did not come out anywhere near the same time. Oh. It was very, very far apart in time because Spider-Man was already well established as a character. Daredevil was introduced. And it was like, issue 9 of Daredevil was coming out when issue 16 of Spider-Man came out. Oh. And when they got to issue 16, Sixteen, they decided to put Spidey in that story because it was just a cool symmetry. Do you have both those issues? No, actually, I don't have sixteen of Spidey. Wait, uh, yeah, no, I, I don't actually. I'm <laughs> yeah, not sure. No. Uh. It's weird because it's funny. I've gotten so used to telling people with comics like, "Oh, I've got issue Amazing Spider-Man 100 to current." That's easy to say because 100 to 700 plus all the new shit is harder to say. So 100 to current is easiest thing to say. But when it gets before 100, it's like there are some key issues. I'm, I know I have issue 8. It's my earliest full issue. Technically issue 1, but it's a reprint. It's Gold Records reprint from 66. This is Journey into Comics, by the way. But no, it's not. It's actually Podcastrophy. <laughs> uh, but uh, I also know like issue 13 and 14, or 13 and 15. 13 is the first appearance of Mysterio. 15 is the first appearance of Craven the Hunter. And then 16 is just a Daredevil story, so I don't typically in my head think, but I, I, I'm almost certain I do, in fact, have both 16s. So you have 100 to current? Yeah. Like yeah. You go, you get it when it comes out? Oh, well, I had been. I had been. I'm probably like maybe like six weeks or so behind. Yeah. That's impressive. Yeah. I don't necessarily read Spider-Man right now. It's kind of like, it's all bleak, man. Comics are bleak right now as far as actual comics, unless you're an indie comic or The Walking Dead. The Rebirth of <laughs> Kind of. Yeah, actually. Hmm. So, so let's talk about today. Sure. What's up with T today? Today's a fun day. It's a been. day ever so full of podcasting. Podcastomania. Podcastomania. Across the network, uh, six shows will be recorded today. Yeah. Um, three of which have already, or two of which have already wrapped. One's probably going to wrap soon, and then this one. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's only five. I can't count. Fuck math. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I was so We've been planning this for a minute. And I was so excited for it to finally happen. I'm... Yeah, you guys officially m met for the first time today. Yeah, yeah we did. And yeah. that you can recount that tale on... The Port Report. Episode 7, <clears throat> whatever the title is. Yeah, we'll see what the title is. Sure, I'm excited. <laughs> 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 We're going to see. Yeah, I love, I love the titling process. Try to find that. How do you do quote. that? I I typically go off of uh, like a quote from the episode. Okay. Like it's something that's just that stands out. Like I had a hard time uh, with last week's episode colors. I had a, a hard lot time of content in there. Yeah, because that we we covered so many different things, and which is odd for a Nick and a Nick and Dick episode because uh, normally we just talk about metal, but we talked about <laughs> talked about uh, American Vandal. We talked about our trip to go see Between the Buried and Me. And you reflected on that band. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, so I figured it was just it was just uh, it was just right to title the episode "Colors" because it was the Colors' ten year anniversary tour that we saw. So 
That's radical. It could have alternately been called heroin needle on the street. <laughs> you know, it could have been. I mean, he, he was very he was very vivid with his description. That of was, the I mean, needle. he, I, I made, I did the best of thing because that's the new yeah. thing in the network. And uh, yeah. when I was making it, and I was listening to that clip, he, his description sold me. I was like, I don't, you know, this might not be the best part of the podcast even. But just the vividness of that story and how you guys detailed it and your friend Jess has got a broken leg or some shit. And like, yeah. <laughs> you're walking in the streets of Chicago to a place that isn't even open. Like mm -hmm. that's it's advertised as open on the website. I would have been furious. Oh, we were. He's, he, he, Jess, she's like, we can find another brew pub or something around here. Let's just find another brew pub. And It's not the point. And Nick's just like... Go ahead, find another brew pub. <laughs> We're gonna do it. We're just gonna go to a different brew pub. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was frustrating, but especially like the getting there and then, oh, the entrance is over here. So we walk all the way over there, don't see anything. We walk all the way back to the front where we saw a bunch of stuff going on. There was stuff going on in there. We and they're like, hey, it's closed. <clears throat> what do we do? So. I wasn't a big fan of the place that we went to. It's one of those things where, like, but. you uh, you walked in, and it was like you felt like outsiders, and maybe they were just like, we saw these idiots driving around in their Indiana car and not knowing where they're going and going on wrong turns and on one way is the wrong direction possibly. Maybe get hit, but there's a car in front of you also, so maybe you're going the right way, which is... Also terrible. We're just recounting colors right now. <laughs> I don't know yeah, why. Yeah. It's um, just, uh, it was good, though. I'm excited for this episode because who knows what's going to happen. Yeah, who's but, even on this episode? Uh, we got we got you, who my I? father, oh, Nate, no, Nate stop Phillips. It. God damn it. <laughs> um, I'm more like the producer, I guess. The producer. Yeah, because <laughs> that, that, so that actually sounds way worse than I meant it to sound. <laughs> Um, I, cause I was producing today and, and helping the other podcast shows out. Uh, I had the ambition literally, I like leached off of your guys' idea, which was that you guys were going to have a, a, a meeting of the minds and I was going to somehow be involved mm -hmm. because we were doing a show and that's really where the, the whole idea was. That was it. And I was just kind of like, okay. And that's missing the whole point. Cause everybody's going to be right there. Like the network is so close to being together and I'm just, I just want a network picture with all of us yeah. as a big, happy fucking family. You guys are all my family and, and that's why I made this network. So my friends and family can have a place to nerd out like I do and be dorks and have a fucking <laughs> awesome ass Kevin Smith shirt smoking a doobie. Oh my God. I'm pretty sure that's the first thing I said to him. <laughs> Love that shirt. It's hilarious too, because it's so like not, um, it doesn't necessarily just scream he's smoking a joint. It definitely could look like uh, he's just a fat guy with a sucker in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> it's very cleverly designed. Good so, job, Casement. So we got you, Nate, and we have Andrew Poor from The Poor Report. Hey, how's it going? It's going great. I'm so glad to have you. And we also we also have the phantom mic, the ghost mic going oh. for whoever wants to join in at any point. God, if you're listening. <laughs> if you're out there. <laughs> have, oh we, shit we have the butt stuff crew in the living room are they they were doing the, the show earlier they were doing and butt stuff earlier let me tell you <laughs> that i just want to riff on this for a minute and I, and I don't rightly give a fuck that they're in there because they should hear this they are genuinely some of the funniest people and when their show yes. was happening I was like listening upstairs, just cracking up. And then I had to sit down in here and they were doing like a cards against humanity bit. And they did some, would you rather stuff? It's just, it's cleverness and it's funny. And I, and I, that's again, reason 458 million of why I started the network because <laughs> that is the shit right there. Yes. You know, as is poor, poor. How, how was that? You recorded episode seven. We can't give too much away. It was, it was interesting. I had, we were, uh, it was the first time I've been in uh, Blaine's place, and using Blaine's setup. I had my dog with me who was not the happiest to be trapped in one room. <laughs> he kept, like, walking around and crying a little bit. I'm, like, just, just petting him, like, all right, we're just going to keep talking about the show. <laughs> Let's go that way, go that way. So it was very authentic Port Report then. Yeah, if, there, if there's a dog <laughs> or a cat in the background, there's a, definitely an episode of the Port Report. Yeah. <laughs> 
but it, it was good. We got some really good conversations, and the flow is there. And it's mm -hmm. first time I actually recorded with a guest, so that's a nice little first. Hey, that's cool. You've been recording with guests since day one. Yes, I have. You've yes. been recording since you've been a guest. I won't do an episode unless I have a guest. I like that. I, uh, that's kind of my philosophy for, by the way, I don't have an episode, a guest for episode six of Voice yet, speaking of which. So, uh you yeah. told me you already had a number for me, so no, you're not inviting me yet. No, no, I have your number. Good. Don't worry, you're you're you have a number, and it's Eight, not six, far away. Seven, it's five. it's I'm, closer I'm, than you okay, know. Okay, so you gave a little a bit away. Okay. Of how of your process on oh, your episode with Veronica. Okay, sure, go ahead. And you, you you save like certain numbers for specific people. I'm very about that. Yeah. And, so um, I'm sitting, I'm like, oh man, am I gonna be ten? Well, there. Am I gonna be sixteen? <laughs> Why sixteen? That's I don't fuck, that's know. a you have more like I don't know. this isn't the answer, by the way. You have more of a chance of being thirteen, which is my lucky number, than you have of being sixteen, which is a number for some reason I totally fucking despise ever since oh. I was a kid. Oh. Like bizarrely. Gross. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> like it's it, it has nothing to do with like um I think what it really boils down to is it was like my locker number for a really long time. <laughs> and when I was a kid I was bullied. So it just like that memory of like getting my head smashed into 16 just over and over and over Man, and over again. Stuffed? Did you what? get stuffed into a locker? No. A uh, true story though in fifth grade I think it was. I was minding my own business in the bus line. And this dude jumped me and put my head into a locker. Like he smacked my head into a locker and knocked me out. It was fucked up. I had a concussion for a while. And I had to go to school the next day with a black eye. I looked dope as fuck. Like, I'd just been to war. It was great. <laughs> and uh, we had, a, like, some stupid dare thing for school because they have those big, like, dare ceremonies yeah. and stuff. And I was just sitting there like, man, my head really fucking hurts. And I have to hear this guy talk and ramble on, which is what I'm doing now. That's <laughs> <laughs> what we're here for. That's, I mean. That's what it's about. That's podcastrophe. <clears throat> which, your episode with Richard... I'm just reflecting because I we don't, we haven't really talked about this. Your episode with Richard was also comedy gold for a different reason, and I just want to for if he's listening. I don't know if he listens to podcast. I don't think he does. Well, you should tell him to this time so he can hear this. I don't even but think he listened to his own episode. He had the balls enough though to literally play music on the spot. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I don't. I didn't know he was going to do that. I don't have that. I'm not here even in this little setting. No. I get me in like how what this weekend was. Sure, there's lots of people. I don't see them. It's cool. I'm blind. There's stage lights. Yeah, you're right next to me. I'm not singing that close, man. Sorry, <laughs> just weird. Give me guitar. Just yeah, me. I could play guitar all day. Yeah, he just he just picked up my roommate's guitar and started singing that song. And he's he's said he's done that song for me before. Jammed it. Yeah, he, we've jammed before, and he just started playing that song. And I was like, that is hilarious. Yeah, uh, it's just unfiltered. It was super. It was a great super real moment. It was it was a moment like that that made me go fuck. Why am I not doing a best of the week thing for the <laughs> network? And then that that has to be a thing now. So, mm -hmm. anyways, I'll let you take back over. Oh. I feel like I'm like leading this yeah. show. He he's <laughs> Richard being Richard. He's really he's like. So when am I gonna be back on? When am I gonna be back on? Keeps asking me, and I'm like, dude, eventually, man, just give it time. Sometime. And I'm like, I I I, I even equated it to him. I was like, I equated it to um, the way Nick. Maxon brings in bands. <laughs> he doesn't want to have the same band playing every week. He waits a while, gets gets people wanting to see him again. You gotta get people yeah. um, chomping at the bit. Like he's got teasing it. Yeah. Guess it's coming in two weeks. <laughs> what? No, what? because then your then your teaser is dick is coming. <laughs> <That> just... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> people are like getting the totally the wrong impression. He keeps asking me. I, 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 he keeps asking me how, how many views. How many views do we got? How many views do we got? I'm like, oh, the, I haven't checked. Like, I can only check the video. I can't check like the actual podcast statistics. Oh well, yes, you could. All you guys have to do is ask. Yeah, the information's could. super easy. I give it to you. You go on Podbean and you can just be like, oh, check it out. Yeah. I told him I was like, I think my episodes get about fifty to hundred listens. Yeah, through the various 40, things. 40, 50. Yeah, I, well, I would say I think everybody does. Um, from what I've seen that you posted, the, the 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 thing about our network that people should remember is one we're we're still very upstart right now, yeah. which is okay. Mm -hmm. But we are gaining listeners consistently, which is nice. And what is even nicer is all the new shows are consistently our top downloaded of the month because we have a section where we can like see the stats or whatever, and it's great because there's very little 
journey into comics on there. It's all of your guys' stuff, which is a testament to what you guys are doing. So it's like, I don't have to tell you what to do on your show. You guys are just naturals at it, like across the board on all the shows. Yeah. So it makes, it makes this so much easier. You guys don't understand how many fucking people message me. Hey, you have a network. Can I join your network? I have this idea. I have this podcast. Can do this network. I got pitched last night at the show. I got pitched a podcast by someone <laughs> that I know. And I was just like, this is really interesting how many people are th this interested in the network thing. Uh, but it, to me, it's it's not a it's not a, like don't pitch me anything because I, that's not why I made this. I'm not trying to yeah. like do a huge growth thing where we have 50 fucking shows. I'm like, this is just original content because every person who is doing something on this network, guess what? They started right here. They were on an episode of Journey into Comics mm -hmm. or they were on one of the first spinoff shows from Journey into Comics or they were on a spinoff from a spinoff of, the, you know what I'm saying? So people hit me up with a network and they're always like, you know, how, do, you know, how do you maintain people? And the thing is, is that the, the honest to God secret is it's just the quality of the content. Mm -hmm. So it, it, I don't, I don't know. It's whatever you guys are doing that the <laughs> end, that's the end of that sentence. We're just making a bunch of dick jokes over here. Honestly. Oh, I see what you <laughs> did there. The big, the, he's speaking the only dick in the room. Speaking of dicks, <laughs> only dick in the I have a question. Sure. So, I'm going to, okay, so there's the age old question, and I'm not going to say it yet. There's the age old question, and then I don't, I, I've come up with another question that I don't think anybody's ever really delved into. Oh, geez. This is, um, dun, dun, dun. okay. Nobody's ever gone that extra level. So, the age old question if you could suck your own dick, would you? Okay. That's, that's okay. Probably no. I, I mean, no. Not, not no? for, not for, so. Let's go. Let's take it a step further. Oh God! So you guys already said no. So that oh well. I, just do. I don't really have an answer. I I don't I I can't fathom doing it. So like I'm just, I don't have an answer. You don't have a giraffe neck, first of all. <laughs> you know. Funny story. Oh. Smith has done it. What? When he was a kid, he said he did he did a whole thing about it. <laughs> then he really like almost threw his back out doing it as a kid, but he mouth to tip. <laughs> no, just... <laughs> That's a great description. Oh my God. So let's take it a step further. Oh no! If you could suck your own dick, would you climax? Would you complete? You're asking if I'd come in my own mouth. <laughs> Jesus Christ! This like <laughs> this, this 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 is literally. We are like five minutes into the greatest podcast ever. The name is so living up to the hype. Okay, so in a in a in a, okay, so let me. I'm gonna. <laughs> We're going to redo Let's this. We're going to start over yourself, for Nate. the sake of this fucked Collect up question. Yourself. Okay. The answer is still no. Even if I did suck my own dick, I don't think I could come in my own mouth. It's just, it's just, that's just, uh, have you ever peed in your own mouth? <laughs> no. Okay. Well, then there's your answer, buddy. That's the end. There's no yeah. more argument. Unless you, like, for some reason decided to drink your own piss, which... I'm guessing I mean, we're getting hilarious stares. By the way, it's Mr. great. Poor, let's hear let's hear your thoughts no, before I no. argue. <laughs> You're gonna counterpoint this. I'm gonna this? counterpoint oh, this. Fuck. This and is about. I'm gonna to... counterpoint this, given that I probably still wouldn't do it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Point okay. Done. Point taken. Point taken. So if you say anything about protein, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> fuck no. Okay. 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 <laughs> protein. Oh God. He just wants uh, to clean up. It's just... <laughs> Let's clean up. Yeah, totally. Is that it? Really? No. <laughs> okay. Jesus. So Christ. okay. I'm, no, I'm. I'm taking it. I'm taking it. You're not gonna even think about this. Okay. So you guys, I believe, have been sexually active before. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, definitely. You guys have had sex. Yeah. I know what that's about. So okay. So I, I, yeah. have you ever been in that moment? This is gonna get really graphic. Sure. Bring it on. <laughs> oh, Look. Boy. Bring. Just bring. Have you ever been in that moment where you're you're with you're with a, a partner and okay. you know they're they're totally down to you know suck your dick and swallow whatever okay, sure. or, or you just shoot off wherever on them. Okay. You know, okay. That's is... totally down for that. And you're just like, yeah, I'm totally going to do that. that that's, <laughs> okay. that, that's the plan for this, okay. se for this particular okay. sexing. Okay. I got you. <laughs> this particular sexing. I'm coming I, on her tits. I, I appreciate the honesty because that is super real. The like sometimes as an adult, you have to talk about these kind of things you do. You and do. like be like, Hey, if this were to ever be the situation, is that is are we good with that? Like, can we all agree? Yes. Can you send a waiver? Is like, this okay? no, you don't need a. I mean, maybe you need a waiver depending on who you're with, but like for the most part, 
it, like the conversation the first of all the conversation is nice because it kind of gives you a little bit of lead up and you're now you're like yeah. looking forward to the possibility yeah okay so now continue your thought on the so okay. okay so you're, you're like you got it all planned out you're like yeah i'm gonna come on them titties okay okay yeah. sure i i, I vibe that <laughs> <laughs> So you, you got you got this plan in your head, and okay. then, then you're, the moment comes. You're getting close. Yeah, you're okay. getting close. You can feel it on the tip of your dick. You're like, yeah. <laughs> you're like, yeah. But I then you then you start thinking like, oh man, if I pull out now, then do that. Because if you're gonna do that, you got to be like right there. Because if not, you lose it. Okay. You lose you lose the orgasm. You really? I, all right. You got to work towards it again. Okay. Okay. Start over. You... That, that's how it is for me, man. But. Um, <laughs> Okay, so then you, you're in the moment and you're like, I've never well, not. This vagina feels rather swell right now. I so... think I'm just going to, yeah, I think I'm just going to finish in there. <laughs> Whoa, this is. Yeah. Okay, this is. Uh... How's this your counterpoint? Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know. <laughs> now just we're saying, just talking like, about that, fucking, okay, which is. So, yeah, I forgot. There was a point. <laughs> <about it. laughs> oh, man, I just got caught up in He's thinking about sex. He's going to talk about sex for a little bit. Uh, just, no, just um, <laughs> no, my counterpoint is like, so you're sucking your own dick. Say, okay. say you were to, and then, but your answer to would you come would be no. In the moment, <laughs> you're just like, well, I don't want to. Man, if I okay, stop okay, now, hold I on, no, towards okay. it again. Okay, hold on. <laughs> See, I'm going to brain fuck this homie right now oh. because you didn't take it the most fucked up step. Do you swallow? <laughs> oh, <laughs> see, I, haven't gone, I haven't gotten that deep yet. I haven't gone that far yeah, okay, yet. Okay, see, because that's the ultimate question. I mean, really, but we're, we're, we're going to stay. We're going to start at would you climax in your own mouth? My answer stays no. no. Yeah. Just what if, if, if I have the, the ability, even what in, if it's in the moment, what does that like, mean? Eh, fuck it. Time out. I'm already no, there. Time out. <laughs> there is never a point where I'm so quote unquote, hot with myself in the moment <laughs> that that's my decision. <laughs> like, it's just not. It's not. It's just, are we as a podcasting network going to collectively try this and experiment? No. <laughs> I, I, I won't. I'm not that veto, flexible anymore. Veto. 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 Veto the bill. The podfather has spoken. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm not nearly as flexible as I was back then. Back in the day. You know what's funny? My brain works really randomly. Let's hear this. About Sucking your own dick. <laughs> My brain went to Marilyn Manson. And how a giant prop yeah. And that's hilarious. <laughs> because initially, I was terrified. I was like, oh my God, that's fucking tragic. You yeah. Got crushed on stage to death. Because this, the report was just like, large prop falls on, well, you know, Marilyn Manson, blah, 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 in such and such. Concert immediately canceled. And I was like, oh man. Yeah. Fuck. And then you watch it and it's kind of comical. Like, <laughs> I what, haven't watched what it yet. On him? Uh, these like gun cross things he had, but they just kind of like. He was in stilts and just kind of pushed them over and then ended up on top of them. It, kind of, <laughs> it wasn't like a hard, like, bam, and crush him to death or blow him to smithereens like Kenny from uh, South Park. <laughs> you know, it was not that at all. Didn't Marilyn Manson suck his own dick? Ah, <laughs> that's, <laughs> not, that's a myth. That is a myth, and apparently it's not true. The, the whole myth, he took out one of his own ribs. Yeah, he took out like a full, a full row of rib to suck his own dick. And I think he was just anorexic. Apparently, it's just not true at all. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. We played with a Marilyn Manson <clears throat> tribute band once. Interesting. That is the word for it. I fear that the lead singer of this band literally only has this as a career choice. He <laughs> looks spitting image exactly like Marilyn Manson. It's fucking creepy. Do you remember that other myth about Marilyn Manson? Negative that he was uh, the best friend on the Wonder Years. What? <laughs> that was a myth <laughs> that, he, was he, that he got his start on the Wonder Years, the TV show, the Wonder Years. Weird. Like ben Savage. Yeah. Or Fred. What's Fred one? Savage. Fred Savage. <laughs> one of the Savage brothers. <laughs> That's so savage that of you to forget their name. Oh. Oh, pun castrophe. Pun castrophe. <laughs> oh gosh. Pun cast. Damn. So what are we gonna? I thought we were talking about sucking dick. <laughs> well, I, I, we can there. keep going. <laughs> I totally did not plan for that to be where this episode started off at, but I almost feel like, I mean, really, here's an interesting thing that your listeners both should should know, is that behind the scenes, you guys have been like instrumental in helping the network grow. 
uh, you both were a part of the experiment, the journey into the podcast, mm -hmm. really taking, and Brando and I going, good luck. Yeah. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> fuck off. You know? That's that's such a me thing to say. <laughs> fuck off. Exactly. Um, We're gonna go fuck off. Okay. So bye. So it's just like, and you know, Brandon was a part of your first episode. I have given you different tips and stuff, and helped both of you guys out in that regard. You guys have both appeared on JIC. Uh, so it's just, I think it's just perfect that we started talking about like the most machoist of questions <laughs> with like. <laughs> some of the cornerstones of the network really yeah you know so it was it, 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 that, that's a funny place to start today uh definitely not where i was expecting we were gonna <laughs> go <laughs> but i'm totally down with that because that's what i'm about Never being know. listen podcasting should be fucking random it you should know? be i mean like absolutely random and that, that was my goal when i first started this i wanted to be free form anything goes we just sit and talk and have a good time like, I just remember after recording, you're like, I have a fun question for us later. I'm like, okay, cool. I had no <laughs> idea what that was where we were going. I'm that like, was the, you planted that seed, no pun intended, earlier. Pun <laughs> 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 yes, Bam. Oh, man. I wish I would have asked, I wish I would have asked that question yesterday on episode eight. If you ask Veronica <laughs> to come on step episode. onto the microphone for a minute, she might tell you that I am old man Nate because I have old man jokes all the time. Yeah? Yeah, for real. I don't have any good ones right now. I want to hear one. No, I don't have any good ones right like now. Like dad jokes or old yeah, dad jokes. jokes. Yeah, yeah, they're they're just corny in the moment things that I just come up with. Where did the general put his armies? I don't know. In his sleeveys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See exactly. Oh, okay. I got one. How do you make holy water? Hmm. You boil the hell out of it. <laughs> 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 see, it's bad, dude. I got one more. Oh, Jesus. Right. What lives at the bottom of the ocean and shivers? Bottom of the ocean and shivers? Yeah. I don't know. A nervous wreck. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Weak. That was... I liked that damn. one. Damn. Oh, man. I, one, I'm just now remembering something I really wanted uh, Rolo to do on his episode. Okie dokie. He... Every day at work, he shouts out these stupid ass pickup lines. Okay. At our team, can leader, you at any any chick on the line? Can you recreate any of them? I'll tell you. Um, one of me, he said to our team leader Teresa. He said, um, "Were your parents thieves?" She's like, "No." She's like, "Oh, I was just wondering who stole the stars and put them in your eyes." Oh Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> Boo. But my favorite one. Uh oh, my favorite one. And oh, it okay. Is, so, it is, so is this richer. a Roloism? This is oh, definitely. Do you call it Roloism? I don't know. I haven't. Anyway, anyway. I mean, he had his own fucking intro song. Jesus, I know. he came he, up with it been, on the fly. He'd been probably singing that all week. This is how excited he was to be the on the podcast. The way he sounds when he says it's me, a Rolo, always has me die. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. And did you notice he doesn't say podcastrophe? He said podtastrophe. Yeah. He, he also he he always says it at work. He can't say it. He just cannot say he, it. Uh, he also spelled Mickey Mouse wrong. <laughs> Mocky Mouse, I think, or <laughs> Malky Mouse. Yeah, that got pointed out in, the, in our group M chat. M-O-C-K-E-Y, <laughs> M-O-U-S-E, Mocky Mouse. Richard is special. I love it. It's great. But his best pickup line, Okay. and I love it so much because it's so him, and it's so out of nowhere. You will never expect it. RKO out of nowhere. Love it. Hey, girl. I heard you're looking for a stud. I got the STD. All I need is you. Oh, my <laughs> Christ. That is <laughs> fucked up on a whole. Oh, wow. Man. <laughs> it's great. It's so great. Uh, okay, let me ask this legit question. Does he say these to women? Uh, I don't think. Not oh, true, man. That is a good question because. Because that's the thing. It's one thing to like jokingly, like, jokingly be a comedian. He jokingly doesn't work. But, but for him, but I would not put it past him to actually do that in, you field test, in the field test. Oh, the, the field test, man! AP's got the lingo. <laughs> I wasn't thinking that. But if if anybody anybody here that knows Richard knows just how ridiculous he can be, he's kind of a ham. He is like in the best way. He he definitely has a a, a really hilarious personality. Um, I'm gonna tell you right now, that was probably him at about seventy percent. I would love to hear him at ninety-five to hundred, like oh cranked up to eleven. We can't handle give it. him we can't some. Handle it at work. Like <laughs> that's that's intense. There, the, it's funny because the group of people that podcast from your work or that have been on podcasts from your work, 
very in like I don't want to say quality of person. I think that's a shitty way to say it, but like very in their like stylistic personalities of yeah. being on radio. And he like instantly transformed into this like ultra performer. And it wasn't that he wasn't being himself. It does it does des- def- definitely come off like he was like being a little reserved in some spots. Yeah. And maybe he said some shit that was a little far, but not as far as he typically goes, if that makes sense. No, he, he has no limit. Uh, he is the Goku of but I th- Sailor I, Deck. But I think he really genuinely is a funny person, oh, and yeah, it was definitely. great. It was great conversation that you guys had. Just again, reflect on more podcast mm-hmm. three episodes because that we're about reflecting today. I, think I told him on the show, like I listened to the episode twice because I just wanted to hear it again. <laughs> uh, I've listened to it a couple times, a couple drives actually. I've uh, said it time and time again. I was really worried about that episode. Man, you do you had balls though because you brought a guest on who could definitely pose issues for you uh-huh. and and, and made, i live streamed it and, and that's that's what i was coming <laughs> to it was that you actually had the cojones to live stream that which whoa that's a whole different logistical like possible nightmare <laughs> um it's one thing yeah. but and here's the thing though you look mm. at like a joe rogan or those guys they bring guests on who say fucked up shit i mean joe rogan had fucking alex jones on and we don't even need to get into that but like uh, it doesn't necessarily reflect on the host who the guest is because the guest is going to be themselves once they are on a show. Mm -hmm. So I think even going forward, you should never, ever, ever, ever have to worry about what he says on the show because even if it does get a little too much, we can beep him out. Which was I, I when I finally listened to the final product after amazing after the editing, the post editing that you guys did, not my editing, you guys editing. Um, yeah, to hear all the all the bleeps, uh, yeah, it was so funny. It was great because there are things that are said that you would expect to be bleeped that aren't bleeped, and then the <laughs> things that are bleeped are so fucking mundane. It's hilarious, but yeah. they're so important. <laughs> so it's just like okay. It, it, it t- come to find out, he none of the things he said were actually like the like he 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 flubbed ad- numbers. Yeah, he flubbed numbers. Uh, he put he gave out the address for my place of work and our group leaders extension. But it wasn't really the extension, yeah, none or of the, the address. No, none, yeah, none of it. But even inferred, it it it, it can be yeah. like here's a little too much information for you, folks. Yeah, and I was I'm come, sitting here. Come the first search time us he out. Started, he started doing it. I'm like, should I stop him? Should I stop him? What and we what we don't know is you have someone who secretly like despises you and is plotting terror against you that now knows where you work. You know. Uh, that's a bummer. It's the other <laughs> podcastrophe. They're pissed that you're doing so well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the other podcastrophe with like five <laughs> likes. Ridiculous. And that was my thing. Like, <clears throat> Game Addicts. The same thing happened to Game Addicts. There was another Game Addicts podcast, but it only had been like like four years and only recorded like one episode. Yeah. And Brandon's like, no, fuck you. Like, we're taking this for ourselves and we'll make it something that's our own. When we first came up with Podcastrophe, there was not another one. Yeah. And um, and the idea that they came up with was not that good. Oh, you actually <clears throat> listened to it? I tried to. Uh, the <laughs> thing tried. is, it was actually a mini episode inside of a bigger show. So it was like a separate part of a show. And it was just from, I, it was, no. They, so they it was were like tr- my segment on JSC. No, 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 no. Because it was, they were trying to, do the edgy thing, but they were doing it like, look at us being all edgy, like a, you know? Like <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it was uh, fucking lame. So what's up the other journey into comics? That's a bookstore, a comic book store in Ohio. It's and not even open anymore. I, I actually think they still are open, but, um, they got nothing on us. I was going to say, would, just, would you, just, would you go there? They're in Ohio. You just go there and record Journey into Comics at Journey into Comics. Oh my god, for episode 300, that is happening. I will fucking make that happen if they are still open. I'm not even kidding you right now. That plan has already been... Pl- I've already got... Listen, episode 200 is already being carefully put together and planned. And interestingly enough, this is kind of a test run for episode 200. Podcast which is going no 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 <laughs> no podcast will be the only show on the network no 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 <laughs> i'm more saying how this weekend is structured is kind of my vision for that with some other things happening as well so it would be a okay. big podcast a thon with all the shows and i would actually want all of the shows to record so it would be everybody 
freaking voice of survival guest that's not that's yes, the network. Yes, exactly. Content. I do. I <laughs> Put do. Put in the mix of all of us. I really do. Genuinely want to do that. And I think it would be interesting because just to have a guest that just would be here just for a little bit to get a, a, an idea and then to send them on their way would be great. But I, I do have plans for 200, and it's it's going to be cool. We that's, are going to talk that's about That's exciting. That. It's in the spring, right? It will be probably July of next year. Okay. Ish. It'll be around your guys' shutdown is when we're actually going to do it. So it'll be summer shutdown, so that way everyone may be a part of it, and we're going to lock in some shit and make it happen, and I'm praying on my world of praise that your work schedule works well, out and you're not be, away. Be done by the spring. <clears throat> well, that's groovy. Yeah. But you have a shut, so, you're shutting down in the summer? Yeah, we shut down twice a year for oh, two yeah. weeks. It's, a, it's not like you're shutting down, it's a routine. No. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 a, it's like a routine. Maintenance like, and after, stuff. It's like after... Gives us a break, gives them a, a, the ability to go in. Get fired. Let's let's get laid <laughs> off. Let's have a show. Oh my god, <laughs> that would we'll be celebrate. that would actually be a hilarious name for a podcast. Brando and Blaine get fired, and then like it's you guys talking about all the shit you could do to get fired, you know, and like all the antics <laughs> oh, that go I like on. It. I mean, I'm just totally, totally oh, riffing fuck. right well, now. Like, but... I, I, that's one of the things I always talk about. They're like. Oh, you would so like everybody's like I would quit my job if I ever won the lottery, like the Powerball or whatever. And I I always counter that with no, I would not quit my job. Okay, I would why just is be, that? Oh, <clears throat> please, no, seriously, this is interesting. I'm oh. not. I, yeah, I want to. Oh know. no, you don't gotta please. You don't gotta goad me into this. I'm uh, get, I'm pausing for dramatic effect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nate, let me tell you why please. I would because I am. <clears throat> you know me. I do. You're, you know you're, you're Dick Blaine Tyner. Yes, I know you. Emphasis on I am a dick. <laughs> yep. Dr. Dongo. I would be the biggest asshole on the planet. Because no you know fear. what I would do? I'd, I'd have all this money. I'd be like, what are you going to do? Fire me? Yeah. So what? <laughs> what are you going to fucking <clears throat> do? I, I, will, I will show up every single day until they fire me. And That's I, actually and awesome. I just won't give a fuck. That's great. I actually <laughs> love that mentality. Just get all your work done, but have just the worst attitude about it. Be like... What? I'm doing all of my work. What? Yeah. What? I, I would just be the shittiest fucking worker there, but it's still doing just enough. To not, like, they, don't, they don't really have a reason to fire you? Yeah. Just like, I really just hate him, but I, there's no legal reason I can fire him. I want to I wanna know, uh, totally, this is going to tangent for a second. It's going to come right back to you and your work and getting fired and, and winning the lottery and all of that, okay? And, and I want to manifest the winning the lottery part. Yes, like somebody in the network win the lottery. That would be awesome. Anyways, let's move forward. So you guys know that there are like headphones that aren't headphones. They go on your temples. Yeah, yeah I think uh, you sent that to me. Maybe, I did not. Or but... you told me about it or you told me about it. Somebody told me about maybe it. Maybe I told you because, about it. Because I was talking about my issue with podcasting when I podcast with anybody over Skype is that after many hours of being on Skype, my headphones crush my skull and cause migraine. Like it really does. It's just like the pressure builds. So I was like, man, if you could just not have that and just have like – a way to I just like talk to you about that. floatingly yeah. have something, it would be great. And you were, and I, I'm pretty sure Blaine, you said you're like they've got these things you stick on your temples and it like sends the sound. So if that's the case, and you had a pair of those, and you could still hear with your this part of your ear, right? That'd be interesting. Okay, the reason I'm asking is because then would that give you the awesome baller status to put these on and go to work and listen to podcasts while you work and oh, still be like, look, I've still got, I've still got my uh, yeah my safety in. What, bro? It's great, you know. I just wear. I well, honestly probably I, just wear. A don't hat. swimmers have those like jawbone ones? The ones that like vibrate your what? Because you can't you can't listen to music. They listen to music through. I think it's something that like, goes like something like vibrates off your like jawbone or in your inner ear or something. I I, I know about that stuff with um with communication. What the fuck is that doing talk. to the inside of your body? Oh. All that vibration. Yeah, putting microwaves in your brain. I'm no, I'm not trying to be conspiracy <laughs> theorist about <laughs> <laughs> shit. Spying on me. What? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I just I just want to know like like the idea of putting music on my temple and it vibrating into my earlobe. The guy at Best Buy he he said well he was I was there to get AirPods. Okay. Apple AirPods actually no I was there to get any wireless because uh, I got screwed out of a pair uh, that I crowdfunded. Yeah, really? Went dark. Might be part of a class action lawsuit whenever it happens. Really? Yeah. Damn. One hundred fifty bucks gone. That's and fucked. It's too late to dispute it, because ha- I I pre-ordered it two years ago. Oh. Yeah, it's it's a mess. But I I the day I found out it was a scam, uh, I just went right after work, 
right after, right after work and working out, I went straight to Best Buy and I was like, I want a pair of wireless earbuds, like true wireless. They're like, what phone do you have? I'm like, I have an iPhone. We have AirPods. I'm like, good, good enough. <laughs> good, give them to me. Nice. And he was, he he started suggesting the the temporal, the skull ones, and uh, I was like. That's I saw I saw because I'd seen them advertised on Facebook. So they sell them now, yeah. like at stores. Yeah, they have them at Best Buy. He he wow. said he's used them. It takes a minute to get. It takes a little bit to get used to the different way that you're hearing it. You're yeah, hearing it's it, like in your okay, that yeah, that's fucked up. Yeah, so he he suggested you, it to me and it, it sounded cool. I was you had, like, eh. if you had those on and had something else in your ears, would it really? fuck up with your sense of understanding Ooh, that's sound. an interesting question and then does that mess up your equilibrium you know what it makes me think of is batman's inner dialogue when you like watch anything and batman's talking to himself in his own head and he's just like very in the moment i feel like that's how it probably sounds is like it's noise in your head uh -huh. but it's not coming from your ears and that's the thing you have to get used to is like voices in your head which is now you're all of a sudden becoming a schizophrenic if you're listening to your own podcast you're driving yourself crazy hearing yourself <laughs> you know and that would be such a weird – if you okay, kind of going off of that in reverse, what if you could record your thoughts? It's probably been asked a million fucking times. Man, I would love so much sometimes to have my thoughts recorded. Do you think – do you think your thoughts, if you could record them, do you think they would be exactly as they are and as you're thinking them? Like unedited? Because yeah, or do you think it would <clears> just, <throat> just be an overload, overload of sensory going into the recording device and it would just be all jumbled up? That's not castrophe. <laughs> oh, I like Ooh. that. Holy shit. But do you think it'd be like just all jumbled up because the, the recording device ha doesn't have a way of like, you know, filtering? Well, I think that it would come down to how you actually utilize and how you think. Because if I'm processing something, if I'm coming up for like, say, an idea for the network, that is something I don't necessarily have to write down until I have literally in my head thought it through hundreds of times, yeah. right? So you're developing your idea. So if I have the choice to go, okay, well, I've developed my idea where I want it, press record, and I want it to be just like this so I never forget what intent I made this with, mm -hmm. you know, and how I felt when it was happening. Because I think that's the more important thing in your thoughts, and recording your thoughts would be your frame of mind yeah. over what the thought even now, is. Now, what do you, do you I, think? I think you have to work. More as like a video than audio. Sometimes you're not like thinking words; you're thinking pictures. You're yeah. Thinking, so like it doesn't well, even translate. Then, like even then, like I the way I the way I see brain function is there is so much going on up there at the exact same time. I mean, you got your brain controlling bodily functions. You have so many. You you might not realize it, but you have so many different things going on. That's why um, psilocybin mushrooms are a huge thing. Yeah. Now, because uh, not only do they apparently have medicinal qualities, like for um, people who suffer with anxiety and depression, uh, but also it, al it allegedly, when you're poisoned by this mushroom, it allows your brain to talk to other parts of the brain that don't typically have the ability to communicate, and that is where the quote unquote trip comes from. Okay, because what happens is you eat, you, uh, you know, I so technically poisons you allegedly. You eat the mushroom, and when it is ingested, it is poisonous. What it does is it causes a fluid that is in your cerebral cortex to drain into your spinal cord, causing the quote-unquote trip. But it also allows your brain to literally – it's like, okay, Im imagine there's a cage around your brain, and when you're poisoned, the cage just shatters, and there's nothing holding thought back. So parts of your brain are talking in ways you don't even know they can. Not to say that this is something you can permanently retain, and there are people that chase the dragon in that regard. They think that you can eat mushrooms all the time and then get these super deep thoughts, and you're the super deep person. It doesn't work like that because you are also fucking your brain up every time you do it. If you're going to do it, like use caution. Be careful. Don't overly poison yourself. That is very important um but you actually interestingly enough trivia 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 what is the safest drug on earth marijuana false it is actually psilocybin mushrooms oh they have the they, they have the highest safety rating of illicit drugs Interesting. correct it kind of sounds like the way you're describing it kind of sounds like that uh movie limitless with that pill and it unlocks exactly it. that but think of it as with limitless he could recognize that his brain was doing all of that and had the function. Imagine your brain all of a sudden being able to talk to itself all at once and the overwhelmingness of that. 
that's where that is coming from because it's everything's opening up thought is changing you're uh, my buddy who has hilariously told this episode on a old season one episode of foodies uh, once did mushrooms and watched the world series in 2004 when the Yankees played the Red Sox, I do believe. And the Red Sox won. It was there after their huge drought or whatever. He said Johnny Damon hit a home run into his living room because he literally was seeing TV differently with his brain and it actually made it feel 3D full scale just by existing with no glasses, no anything. Um, and then he also smeared shit in his hair in the same <laughs> night. <laughs> Actual cash shit. Wow. He didn't mean to. Cash he <laughs> He fell asleep at his buddy's house who the cat had been trapped in the bedroom all night, they didn't know, angrily shat on the pillow. And when he passed out, he went head first into the Angrily <laughs> shat. Yeah. Angrily shat. Like, was, well, think oh, about was it. Was it You're, like an explosive shit? Or I don't, just he, I don't have, was look, I wasn't there. I don't have the details. <laughs> I just know the story secondhand. So, but all I know is he woke up and he was smelling it and thought he like shit himself or something. He wasn't sure what was going on. He walked into the living room. His friend started laughing hilariously and was just like, go look in the mirror. And he had like shit running down his head and it's, oh. it's not good. And then the second time he did mushrooms, he uh, had a bad trip and that's a whole different story. Listen to foodies episode 3.5 flash bang in the mouth. That's my shameless plug. Flash bang in the, flash bang in the mouth. You guys, you, you want to know. You're like, what the fuck? Why is that the episode title? Right? Yeah. right. So that episode is the hot sauce episode we did. Okay. And the final hot sauce we did was Flashbang. And it is a 750,000 Scoville hot sauce. It's fucking hot. It's one time hotter, like like doubled the hotness we did on that DOS. On, yeah. Oh. Okay. It's like, it's it's so intense that the two people who were on the podcast with me when they had the flashbang literally passed out. It was oh, so wow. hot that in like 20 minutes, they had to sleep the heat off. It was crazy. I was okay. Like, I was really hurting. You have, you have a high <laughs> heat tolerance, though, for spices. Very high heat tolerance, and I push it. I push it probably way more than I should, really, genuinely. But like... I live, live on the edge, man. And it's cool because, interestingly enough, hot sauce can give you a fucked up trip, too. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, because you, like, you're experiencing so much heat, your brain just is like, malfunction, malfunction. What have you done, you know? Um, but I live for that shit. I love food. Danger Will Robinson. You know, we didn't talk about whatsoever, by the way. And it's hilarious. We're on podcastrophy right now. Uh huh. This could almost be half foodies. <laughs> we didn't even bring up. We are also the hosts of foodies watching movies, two of the four, so. Which we'll be seeing later today. Well, I can see one of them pretty much anyone, anytime I would like. But yes. Yeah. What's up? How's it going? Uh, no, I'm just We're going back to, you guys. to it. I'm, I'm just, just listening to you guys. Okay. That's fine. Oh, shit. We have a silent Rob up here. Oh. Does that mean he has appeared on Podcastrophy? Oh, my God. We, have, we officially have Silent Rob on Podcastrophy. <laughs> I mean, I've never seen Silent Rob in person. Oh, we'll, <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll do official introductions soon. Yeah. Once we're not podcasting the world away are we um are we cw talking today is that a thing i was about to bring that i was up. just curious if that was, was actually going to happen no uh well i didn't we know if that was that even on the here. agenda because you sir were like listen my podcast is free flow i don't want to make an agenda bro bro <laughs> i love that the that, that's the other nate right that oh, does yeah. bro nate phillips he will be no that's podcast. me I'm oh, wait, <laughs> Nate, I've been saying your name so much lately because I, I, I say I say your name so much because I have, to, I have to explain to people because we work with a Nate and they, everybody at work knows that Nate. So when, when you talk about podcasting yeah, stuff that so has I'm nothing like, to do oh, with so him, I'll be like, yeah, we have this uh, podcasting network and my buddy Nate and they're like, I don't know, I go, Phillips, he's coming down. So no, Nate Vanderwall. He is just call me the Podfather, bro. The Podfather. Yeah. I, I didn't mention that yesterday. I, yeah. I I called you the Podfather twice yesterday. On Man, I like that. I'll take it. I'll, I mean, I gave that moniker to Josh, but he didn't really he hold on to it. And I and I, take it back. and I and I I understand. Listen, Father. I understand what you guys are saying because I am the the I. What my decision to bring up a microphone to my face and record my ramblings for twenty six minutes exactly. Fucking exactly, mind you. <laughs> 
26 minutes, no more, no less. Zero, zero has to be, right? I'm meticulous about that for the first couple. You can see that. But it's weird because, like, I didn't even know what I was doing. Blaine is technically the ancient one, which fucks me up because he had done it well before me. And even though it's a total different form, it, it was still, it's like still kind of the same fucking thing. You knew what a podcast was well before I did. I didn't find podcasting until like 2012 or 13. So it, it, you were definitely ahead of the game there. Look so proud right However, <laughs> Blaine Tyner, circa 2007. I mean, if you want to call me half of the architect of this thing, sure, that's fine. But it can't go without being said that Brandon oh, has done Brandon, so sure. fucking much for Pod this fathers. network. Pod Pod fathers. Yeah, we're our two dads. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh my God, Brandon and I should do another show called Our Two Dads, and we just talk about all of the shows like they're our kids. <laughs> And reminisce on him. Do you remember when Podcastrophe started, Brendo? It was such a fun time. <laughs> I would, I would totally watch you were that. on that episode. I would totally watch that show. It's it's been such a fun time because like I work with Brandon, and whenever we would work together, like he would he would basically practice what he's going to talk about on Journey in Comics with me. He'd discuss it and go over, so he'd he'd get it in his head better, you know. Warming and it up. That's good. And then we'd talk about like all the behind the scenes stuff, and then. Just, just going. It just, it got me so amped to do it. It's funny because I was just saying this last night to somebody, uh, the guy that pitched the podcast to me at my show, which that is a thing that happened. It was I was not expecting, but anyways, uh, the thing I was saying to him was like, uh, fucking, I can't remember exactly how I worded it here. Oh, okay. So I was like, you know we did 150 as like this reflective thing and yeah. we were just like hey we're gonna move forward we're just gonna do more jic we're excited whatever but in 150 i talked about the network ut's podcastrophe and it kind of almost seems like a joke like we're gonna do this network ha 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 and even though it was over a month of planning you have to realize that we recorded that over the fourth of july weekend the network launched august 7th so it, there's like literally a month of time between that happening but in that month Brandon and I scrambled a network together. Like, and by scrambled a network together, I mean, I was contacting you guys, discussing things. I made your logo mm -hmm. with your face, which is I, it just so reflective of you with the little girl. It's the little girl <laughs> watching the house burn down. It just. It, it, you put me over that? Yeah. Yeah. I had to. And I then, of course. The Go ahead. Sorry. I liked your uh, Game of Thrones version. Too. <laughs> another another Nate creation that yes. I was just on the fly thinking about it. I just because it's funny because Blaine is not shy about taking good pictures of himself. So I just every time I see something that just makes it like inspires me to do something hilarious because I first of all the little girl in that picture I saw the picture of you doing that smile and it was just like that was with Richard. Don't you have that cutout? Oh in your bed, shit! In your office? Isn't that the cutout oh, I saw? No, it's not the cutout. But the cutout in my office. That's the Nick and Dick cutout. Oh, um, Doom Room cutout? Yeah. Awesome. I just um, like your face. I'm like, what is this? But no, so that the picture that you used for my logo, Yeah. Uh, I sold Richard my first Apple Watch. Oh. And he, nobody at work believed him that he was going to actually buy it off of me. So he's like, I want you to take a picture and send it to me. That way I can prove to everybody that I actually paid you. Yeah. Because <laughs> he is just... He, Everybody at work. People give him so much he, shit. He's that, a scumbag. Yeah. <laughs> okay. He, he'll, he's a self-proclaimed scumbag. So. Total welcher. Um, so, yeah, he uh, he's like, just take a picture, and that's the picture. Okay. Okay. I love now, it. I, well, I, I could. For the longest time, I was like, where the fuck did Nate get this picture? I just used your where Facebook, he, bro. Where did he get I, No, I searched all through my Facebook. I was like, it's on where there. is it? And Dude. I didn't even think about that picture. Yeah, it, it just it, it just there. kind of use it. It, it played into that. And then AP, I also made your stuff. Yeah. So it's like behind the scenes, really, I, I, I'm doing the graphic designing for the network while doing graphic designing for the network galore. I've still not stopped. And like it's it could becomes an obsession. Like, what else mm -hmm. can I create? Hmm. Can I talk about how much I love the best of the week one you made? Yeah, you guys yeah. like that? that? I really like that. Okay, one. cool. Um, that again, that was just me riffing. I was really tired, and I had been editing the best of the week, and I had it edited, and then I realized that I put an old clip of Game Addicts, and I didn't want Brandon to be like, "Man, you fucked up our show. What the fuck?" And it's just hard because even though Game Addicts is on the network. I don't see them as I see everybody else because they have yeah. their own feed and it's different, you know, and that's fine. It's cool. I, I love how they are set up differently, but I don't have the same visibility. So I was just in my head going 49 is their most recent episode. But no, by the time the best of the week had come out, 
50 had dropped. So it was like, fuck, it's time to do this the right way. So I had to edit his whole segment out, listen to 50, because I told myself I wasn't going to listen to it until it dropped because it's episode 50. It's fucking special. You know, I don't need to early yeah. access that shit. So I had to fucking welch on that decision and go ahead and listen to it. And I'm listening to it. And then I found the perfect clip and then edited it. And I was like, man, how do you even like market this? What do you do? Cause it's all these different, it's like a amalgamation of things. It's a highlight reel. So then I just did that thing. I don't know. I, it just came to me, but I, I really genuinely love doing graphic design work. It's like my, it's my favorite fucking free time and thing. You have free reign over my Facebook pictures. Good. Okay. Great to know. <laughs> Wait for that huge cock and dick's mouth picture. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, you guys want to talk about sucking your own dick, huh? Uh -huh. It's a dick uh -huh. caster. No, I've said it on. Uh, is that a dick septicast? If a dick is sucking his own dick on his own podcast? Oh man. Dickception. Whoa. Well, I talked about it with uh, Nick Maxson on it's an earlier episode because we were talking about those comics that Chris oh, Charles is coming yeah, up with, yeah, yeah, yeah. and Chris doesn't know me very well. He's he. I've been at his shows. He's been at. He's been at the Doom Room. It's just kind of a he, he, he by association. To, yeah, he wanted to include me in that because he knows I'm a I'm a pretty big staple of the Doom Room. Yeah. So he was like, I don't know him, so I kind of just wanted to just make him absolutely retarded, and in, just in do the comic. stupidest and thing. And Nick, of course, is like, yeah, do that. <laughs> and me, like, not even consulting me, but like, I saw it and I'm like, that's perfect. And then he told me that Chris told me that, and uh, I was like, dude, do it. If if you can use my image, my name. For entertainment in any sort of way, please go for it because I enjoy it. it Fucking it's a good a. laugh. I, as long as other, as long as people find it funny, I'm good for it. Yeah, well, so so like doing this podcasting network changes all of everybody's all the shit because now it's like lucky for me. You guys are pretty good about editing your own stuff together. Uh -huh. You and I have done some different collaboration work where we've skyped it, and I hope that you are happy with the quality yeah, of those. It turns out really well. Um, it is not really super easy to pull that off, as I learned. Um, I don't know when this drops. I think if, is this this week's episode? Yes. Okay. So, Journey into Wrestling just came out yesterday. Time travel. This is being smart about it and thinking before you speak. <laughs> so, Journey into Wrestling that came out yesterday was a Skype nightmare. Brandon and I had so much lag. There's actually a part unedited. Because we sent, he sent me both of his files from the re, the recording, and I recorded both, and so we we have you know backup in case it doesn't work. And there's a spot where the lag was so bad that I said a joke or said something funny, but Brando laughed before I said it in the way it recorded. <laughs> so it was like ha ha ha, and then I said the thing, and then it was silence, and it was just super <laughs> fucking awkward. So I was like, okay, let me nudge that over and put it where it goes, you know, and. Typically, we don't have to edit anything. I love just you record your shit and you say what you say and just let it be the thing because yeah. that's real. The thing I, I really – we've all started being in the podcast we listen to group. I don't know if you guys noticed this. First of all, a lot of fucking true crime bullshit too much in my yeah. opinion. Like, oh, my God, cereal was a thing. Let me copy exactly that. <gasps> like, okay, you're not original, bro. I get it. I, I created podcasting having no knowledge of – what I was doing or what my agenda even was. And I had only listened to very select few podcasts at that time. So I didn't have like a large pool of knowledge of like how to do a show, how to structure a show or any of those things. Literally, I was just on my own accord figuring this landscape out. And now that we found this group, it's just, it's hilarious to me how everyone is so fucking uptight. So many podcasts are just like, Hey, they, don't promote your podcast on there, by the and way. And also, do not promote your <laughs> podcast on there. There's a guy, Adam something, and he's fucking hilarious. He's like, hey, guys, um, can you recommend any podcast that you record but don't self-promote? And it, he was being sarcastic, obviously. And, yeah. of course, it, it had like 500 comments because everybody was putting their shit like, yes, this guy knows what's up. We're just going to comment <laughs> our own shit. But you guys know. I go ham in that group. Oh, yeah. Oh, you want a podcast? I got one on my network, and I don't have to be – literally, I don't have to advertise my own shit. Yeah. I don't have to say I it's like, Journey into Comics or – You or, barely publish it's Journey into Comics. You're mostly the network. I – you guys, man. Did you like how I was – how I was, I was uh, pun? Man, that – the dude that – the one of the dudes that was being silly on the good side of that. Your attitude is poor. That was hilarious. <laughs> that one lady, what's a poor? And I was like <laughs> – no, he's a poor. It's poor. 
And it's, it's a poor report on Journey into Comics Network. <laughs> like, like, your attitude is poor. Speaking of, you should listen to the poor report. Yeah, I mean, oh. listen, if you can't shamelessly plug your own stuff on any social media site you can, then you're doing it wrong. Yeah. You should be able to cleverly find a way to do that. Or, you know, my thing is, too, is if somebody seems like it's an opportunity to genuinely get them interested in my stuff. Like, I've seen people like, what's a good podcast to listen to when you're hungover i'm like podcastrophe is definitely that because it's hilarious and you can just giggle and think about the dudes that are on podcastrophe also being hungover yeah. you know and it's great so that that makes it easy and then you can just be like well i can actually just message this person and be like hey if you like this here check this shit out you know and hopefully you'll get into it and that's another thing too it's easier for me to sell you guys to someone else because I know what your values and your traits are that make you guys cool and awesome mm -hmm. and different. It's so much harder for me because I don't look at myself like that. It's just like I show up, I talk, I fucking leave. Yeah. That That is podcasting to me, you know? Like I, I do put thought into it. Don't think that I don't like put a lot of thought into what I'm doing, but I don't. I don't look at myself reflectively and go, man, I you know, I just I really do a great job of – intertwining this and that like i can't even put that together now because i've never done that you know exactly thank you but i'll brag the fuck out of you guys and it's also easy to do it when i'm not like a direct host because i can easily also do foodies like i can promote the shit out of that because i'm just like one of the guys that talks sometimes you know uh, yeah so i'm like oh someone got this film roast film roast you think film roast is fucking cool fuck you film roast no don't i'm just being sarcastic but like here try foodies watching movies much better bam home run it's like i remember when they posted that uh at the top 10 posters of like Reese time like nate's like number two deuces i was number two that was an awesome <laughs> fucking me, i was feeling. like man shit i guess i got a troll and shameless promote plug. more yeah um, I, I've been lacking this weekend because we've been abound and traveling yeah. and shit, but I'll get back on it when the week starts. Yeah, I'm an opportunist. Like, I wait for the right moment to jump yeah. in and add the shit that I put Are in Are you there. an equal opportunity opportunist? Yeah. Uh, you give everyone a fair chance to learn your opportunities? <laughs> <laughs> I just fuck you up? <laughs> totally. I love that. I don't know how to respond okay, to that. Okay, good. good. <laughs> so, you already brought it up. Okay, what? Let's talk some CW, bro. I brought it up and then we went on this whole thing. Okay, <laughs> Let's yeah. talk about some Arrowverse. Real journey into tangents. Uh, Supergirl was dope. If you, you're season behind or something. I've, I'm like three episodes into season one. You oh. need to force feed episode one to yourself because it's just like Arrow. It's a little rocky, but fuck. Yeah. By the time they introduced the Flash in episode 19, all guns are blazing, and that show has not slowed down. And we will go <laughs> deeper. Yes, that was amazing. Carl wants ice cream. Barry's gone and back in no time and like, brings her ice cream. Uh, who's this guy? <laughs> yeah, he just like comes. He's like, here, I got it. I, they, I can't wait for the crossovers. It's going to be awesome. Mm -hmm. Legends was awesome. Legends was really uh, cool. Legends might be my favorite of the week. They are They're doing a really good job of doing something I wasn't expecting because when you see the end of season two, you're like, oh, they're, they're, they're going to just have to fix all the shit they just fucked yeah. up. The end. And then before that can even be solved, oh, here's Rip Hunter. He's figured it all out already, yeah. and everything's cool. Like a Men in Black with like yeah. blue, like blue suit. So I love the story that it's kind of like a rift has been created, and it's like the Time Bureau 2.0, Time Agency or whatever, the Time Masters. I don't know what the fuck they call themselves. Time something. Time to fucking figure out your name. <laughs> like, I can't think of it right now. But anyways, like – they have this bureau and they're very pro about everything they do and they have a system and then you've got the kind of ruffian scumbaggy legends who are just like floating through and i love that they're being more openly comedic this season right out of the gate yeah. just like everybody's bringing the thunder uh the guy that plays nate who's uh captain steel right citizen uh, steel citizen, citizen steel. steel yeah the central city thing yeah, like, and and that was awesome having a little Wally West appearance there. Yeah, which I don't know if that fell. It had to. It when I, it fell, it had to be if it was pre-Flash or post. Oh, so it would have been earlier in the summer, so it probably would have been pre-Flash. Mm -hmm. It would have been around no, because if you look at um, Wally West's haircut, it's the current. No, but it'd been like earlier in the summer while he was while he was he still was, away. He was solo Flash. Okay, I got you. Okay, I see. Okay, absolutely. That that absolutely makes sense. Yeah, and then that Save was all, 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 yeah. He's uh, Wally just 
he's just like uh and then i love that nate's like a central city's second favorite hero i'm central city's second favorite hero he just like lives on that don't tell cisco don't yeah don't <laughs> tell cisco uh we're not calling it team kid flash by the way no and uh it just doesn't roll off the tongue no the, overall man just to like rough shot review this we have a plan to do weekly reviews of CW shows and just have them as a joint segment that's on one of the three of our shows, whether it be JIC, Poor Report, Podcast, yeah. just wherever, right? Mm -hmm. So in doing that, we've got to create a quick, punchy thing that is effective of getting the point across about the episode's goods, the flaws, Easter eggs, so on. For because there's four shows if we're covering them and you really you can't do an hour long you, additional segment you can't it would just it would just and no. listen we are all long winded people so we should be mindful here so Blaine here's what I want to try before we officially start <sighs> buddy yeah. what's the time on our record right now we're at 105 okay so you're typically an hour 30 show hour 30 to two hours okay I, I've I've mostly ran two hours okay well let's right now plan a time that you want this to, to wrap by, and we have to get all of our talk in effectively. So we're going to have to figure this out on the fly. Look, this is real shit right now. We are coming up with this oh, now. Uh, are you talking like end the episode or end the talk? End the talk. Okay. okay. So, we can, so we can wrap this segment and know that we can do such. I mean, it's interesting. You're limited on what you can actually talk about today, right? You. I just haven't watched Supergirl. Okay, but you have seen Arrow. I haven't seen Arrow. Yeah, right. And you've I'm seen... Not, I've seen all of it. Okay. So we're, we're really just going to talk Flash and Legends. Okay, Flash is uh, awesome. It's a good episode back. There's some interesting stuff that happened. I kind of uh, dislike uh, Iris, the first half of that episode. Pissed I off could, Iris I West. See, I could see her reasoning, but I really just disliked her personality towards the rest of the team. She's one of those ladies that dove into her work head first to avoid the tragedy that befell yeah. her and it became a victim of circumstance. What happened? Okay, oh. cool. <laughs> we have reservations at what? Four? Four, correct. Ah. So we've got um, we got some time to get this through. Yeah, yeah. So with Flash, I just want to touch on... Yeah, Caitlin came over here, <laughs> showed me a phone. I'm like... <laughs> it was just a black screen. That was the picture. I was like, it's a kid. <laughs> I was like, it's a... Oh, right on. Nice phone, Caitlin. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's the eight, right? So... Flash was really good because it definitely did a, a great job of there's no Barry Allen, and that's yeah. important. And the journey of him becoming himself again, and that ties into Flash Reborn. They did it, it was this was a very symbolic episode more than anything, and it was super interesting because at first I thought it was a test that the that Star Labs put together, the samurai, samuroid. Right, oh, Samuroid. Uh, Samuroid. Yeah, I I thought that it because you know when it comes to light that he's just a robot and it's not a dude, you're like oh shit. But then the the post reveal is just like oh shit. Now we have which I know is the thinker, the first speedster, villain. the the, the first the non, first non -speedster, speedster villain, which um, is interesting. And I think that the producers said, uh, well, we can't always just make Flash run faster than a guy. That's not interesting. Barry has to lose somehow, and what better way than to outsmart him yeah the one thing the flash can't outrun is smarts the fastest man alive versus the fastest mind alive yeah exactly so um this season's shaping up what did you guys think of the episode i generally liked it i only had one issue with it okay and uh i it's i i feel like it might be silly but at the same time it's whatever because i didn't like how barry just instantly snapped out of it and he's just barry again Oh, the love conquer the like a Disney that. movie like <clears throat> True Love's Kiss will bring you back from whatever yeah. your problem is. Time you out though, because while the, I get that, here's a reason that you're gonna completely have forgotten that why that was so important. Think about when Barry was in the coma the first time and Iris touched him and there was a spark of electricity. Mm. It's a recreation of that. Because it's that spark again. It's the it's that they had Iris. not touched, and Iris is oh, God, Iris not just Iris is not just Barry Allen's love interest. Like they are beyond destined to be together, and every other Earth they are destined to be together. So, well, isn't it in the comics that that's how they, isn't that how they got Barry back? Like it was through his connection to Iris. 
Or is, it, or is that a... No, you're thinking of Wally. Oh, it was and Wally. And it was Wally's connection to Barry, and actually Iris had forgotten Wally completely. Oh, that was it. Which is fucked up. Well, God damn it, Nate. That what? was the only qualm I had with the episode, and well, you just blew took it, it away. Out of the water. I'm telling you, bro. Now I have nothing negative. I, I, Good. Isn't that geez. a great thing? It's a five star episode. <sighs> Move along. Well, five out of seven. Perfect the episode. I, <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I can say I really didn't like about the episode was that Barry wasn't gone longer. I know when we talk, we did our little review at the end, we said like we wanted like a couple water, episodes, like showing yeah. a flat. Like they teased that there was a flashless world up until that point, but we didn't see it. We saw like he went to the Speed Force, the end of the episode, and by middle point of the episode, the first episode back, he was out. But I loved that while he was out, he wasn't himself, and it, it actually created one of the funniest moments with. <laughs> Do the words "this house is bitching" mean anything to you? It's, like, it's all Greek to me. It's all it's all Greek to me. No, that that was awesome, and the whole cipher thing, and it's like, will we find out at any point what the things that Barry? That's was what writing? I was thinking. Like, will I was wondering if they actually do have some real meaning? Yeah, it, I mean, it very well could because I didn't do it. I didn't kill him. Yeah, the t that was great. They had some beautiful Easter eggs with the Tornado Twins, the kids, yeah. uh, the diapers and whatnot, and uh, the Trial of Flash, which they've teased a couple times. There was actually a, a little Easter egg in Season 1 when he went through the Time Vortex the first time to... Uh, the prison jumpsuit? Yeah, he's in the jumpsuit, uh, and you see the Flash Museum. So they've done a really great job of like the peppering past. that in. It was a weird nonsense he was saying that like seemed like nonsense to someone who didn't really know, so it didn't take anything away from you. But for people who knew kind of his history, it clicked a few boxes. Like, oh, yeah, like there are different places they're going, which means that Barry has seen ultimately more of his time stream than we're led to believe. Right. Which is interesting. And then that's another thing. What we haven't figured out yet is how many hundreds of years or how long was he really actually doing things in the Speed Force because of the time variance. It's these are the things that keep me up at night. I'm not even <laughs> kidding you. Like he might have like alzheimer's because he could have lived a thousand lives and his brain just couldn't to handle yeah it. that's and that true might just be him now yeah just a shell of a person who says hocus pocus focus something i don't he say he was rhyming all of his oh, words yeah, he started, yeah. drawing the hieroglyphics on the wall yeah it's creepy this house is bitchy i love that like <laughs> they're like it's 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 recorded it's it's translated it's translated and he's like does this he, house is bitchy i love when he asks about it does this house is bitching to me? Like, he's like, no. Why? <laughs> ah, it's completely anticlimactic. <laughs> and another thing that's really interesting is that um, this episode kind of showcased Team Flash doing things right. Cisco, he he brought Barry back. They didn't. He yeah. didn't come back where they thought he would, but they brought him back. And then like Cisco, he he does in fact find a way to decipher some code. It's just not what he wanted. It was like without Barry there to put everything into perspective for the team, they weren't quite as fine-tuned as you would like, and I loved yeah. There was a lot of disarray there. And uh, there, there, I, I feel like there was another thing that was going on. The new Flash suit? Oh, yeah, there's the new Flash suit, which was super cool. I'm going to tease it for the second episode, which will still be a lot of fun. Yeah, I haven't seen anything of that. Oh, sounds good. Spoilers. Spoilers. I won't talk about it, but... But I also like they brought back lighthearted Barry Allen at the end uh -huh. of that episode. Like he, yeah. he said, like he made, he made it clear, he's like how I felt at the end of like last year or before I went in, it's all gone. I'm, it's all. I feel like it's all past. Yeah, I'm, he's not weighed down by his past it's, anymore. It's um back to what was that episode where Barry wasn't himself when he lost his when they took his when, memory. They took his memory all the way, and he didn't know anything, and he fucked that case up. And Iris was like, you know, this is the most carefree he's ever. That was actually last season, right? During the, that was, the uh, Savitar thing. Those are trying to, if they could take his memory away, they could take away Savitar's. And... Yeah, and then they could help to make him forget. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, <clears throat> any predictions for this season of The Flash after what you've seen? I got nothing. I'm just wanting to see it happen, you know? I want yeah. to see where it goes. I agree. I'm really hopeful that a couple things happen. I want to see different Earth speedster versions of Hunter Zolomon and Eobard Thawn because they do exist and I think that or we could fusion. or a fusion or different timed from different time jumps I mean it's not impossible to say that there isn't a version of Hunter Zolomon that hasn't already created himself and the time remnant is what was killed that was Red Death the, or not Red Death um, that was um, Black Flash well, and then a world where there's 
multiple Harrison Wells. They could easily be another speedster from another Earth, another version of one of the characters we've already seen that could bring back that same actor for a couple episodes. Totally, and do an arc. And here's an interesting Flash thing, having nothing to do with the Flash. How cool is it that Grodd is going to Legends? Have you seen that? Really? Yes. I did not hear that. Grodd is going to be a major villain of this season of Legends. He's going to have some some really key parts. I think there's at least a two or three episode arc with him. That would be nice. Yeah. That's so. the thing I loved about Legends is when I said I don't want to do the transition. Well, we can transition to Legends. I don't mind. I yeah. love The Flash. I don't think yeah. there's really a whole lot to add. The Flash was good. I definitely want to see more of that. But Five out of seven, definitely. The, the way I've always loved about The Legends is that they can take – pieces that were left for the other shows and just take them and run them. Like last season, they took three major villains from other shows, put them on a team and had them be the opposition, the legends. And that was, I think, the best part of that whole season. Oh, yeah. That team with Damien oh, yeah. Dark. And... I love seeing Thawne again. Yeah. And actually seeing Thawne, not the Harrison Wells Thawne. See, it's weird because when that was revealed in episode, like, 18 or 19 of Flash season one, when it's revealed of how... Wells is now reverse flash because it all just doesn't really quite make sense. And they're like, Aobard Thawne, how's that possible? And of course, you're like, well, Harrison Wells was a guy. So when that was happening and they revealed um, Matt Hester, Hesher, I can't think of, uh, I can't, anyways, whoever the guy is that plays Aobard and Legends and everything, when he first appeared, I was like, fucking lame. Oh, like, I'm not, Lesher, Lesher, thank you. I was like, is that so lame? I don't like it. But then, like, the more he's been used, the more he's grown on me. So, uh, pod father number two stepping into the room. Two dads <laughs> talking pods. You know, you want to come join the show, my friend? There's a mic we open. Have a, we haven't just saunter mic. over. Wow. It's been I'll rolling this up. whole time. <laughs> Silent Rob has not been on, but technically, maybe he has because <laughs> the mic's been, been on. on. Maybe. Yeah. Do, you, uh, do you remember when they brought back pre, like, the pre reverse flash that they had to send on his way to know what he was going to do next oh yeah 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 that the, was, was that he, in season two? Like, he he was old? from the future uh enough that he didn't know or he was not from the future enough that he didn't know who barry allen was and this was them him first finding out who everyone was yeah. learning about cisco and, and the whole team um but yeah i loved that uh we have a special guest at this time we should probably introduce him yeah. officially yeah please everybody welcome brandon stone how's it going um uh two time um three time uh, well, now a three-time now uh, <laughs> appearance here on Podcast Trivia. How's everyone doing? Dude, great. Doing great. Yeah, yeah. it's formally. Yes. Uh, nice. Good to meet you finally. Yeah. Formally. A second time. You guys met at the, I, I, I promise, this really happened. This is a meeting you guys probably, neither of you remember. No. Nope. You were younger and you were younger. Halloween party? Halloween party. Yeah. Uh, that was the Caitlin was the crayon. crayon. You did Mick from Mick Slipknot. Thompson. Yeah, I yeah, was yeah. the nurse Joker from the Dark Knight <laughs> with the nurse's outfit and the cripple walk. The whole nine. <laughs> I remember uh, that. Oh, I uh, I don't remember what you came as, or I don't. You might have just I like. I don't even remember. You, I think you just showed up because you're dope. Like they're like, I don't give a fuck. I, I, just, I think I just didn't think it was a, whole, like a costume party. I was like, oh, <laughs> all right, it's just me. <laughs> You I'm untransformed Bruce Banner. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Not just just completely Bruce unnormal. Banner. You guys, completely normal guy. You guys all got a preview of my Halloween costume earlier. I did? Yeah, I said I... it in the group chat. You did? Brandon knows what it is. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Just, yeah. I'm so far I said behind. it earlier today. Yeah, it was a picture. I, I didn't see it. I'm, yeah, I've been podcasting, my friend. We did JIC this morning. Edited and uploaded. Wow, Jesus <laughs> Christ. You are a pro on a different level, bro. Game Maddox is edited and uploaded. <laughs> That's what I was doing up there. I was Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I kind of I thought you were just doing the memory card transferring stuff because it no. takes a minute. No, no, no. No. Um I don't have the video done for Game Maddox yet. Uh well, yeah, that figures. Yeah, I need my, I need my actual PC for that. Yeah, because you have to do the intros um, and outros. Because I don't even stuff. have 51 touched at all. Oh, <laughs> 52 Jesus. audios done and uploaded. 51 not even touched. How did it go? It went well. We went like like almost two hours, like an hour and fifty. Shit. Easy to do with Sarah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, it was it was great. We're gonna have her back someday to talk about GameStop. Oh, oh yes. yes. I want to hear that. You will just listen to Game Addicts podcast on GameAddicts.com. Cheap, cheap up. <laughs> well, now that we're all here, um, first of all, no. Andrew, thank you for referring me to the CW app. Oh yeah, oh, dude, I, I was Life totally saver. about to. I mean, I have Fire Stick, a jailbroken Fire Stick, but it's such a hassle to 
stream shit on there. So I was actually on the verge of getting like PlayStation View or some other service. Dude, Plex, man. Plex is the way to yeah. go. I Plex everything. Download it however you find yeah. your ways to download it. And then just put it in your Plex server. Open it up on your PS4. Live stream it. It's dope. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, I, I luckily... You're like, I have to wait another day. I'm like, you know it's on CW now, now on the app? And you're like, what is this app? I'm like, is it on Apple TV? I was like... Yeah, yeah. C- like, yeah, CW app. Perfect. <laughs> perfect. It's called so, the CW app. Uh, it's only it's, a few bucks too. It is no, it's free. free. It's free. It's yeah, completely yeah. free. It has you commercials. Got, you got the seed, but there it's like thirty seconds of commercials, and then you're back to the show. You know, um, there was like what was it? Um, I think I was watching Crunchyroll. Okay, I was watching like Dragon Ball Super. Sweet. And, because I got tired of waiting for the English dub to like, because this is like when it first really kind of started. Right? You were getting your job. I was like, man, I, I want to watch it now. I want to be like Toonami back when I was a kid where I didn't have to wait a week. I just had to wait a day, you know, get home from school. Yeah. Chill out. Give me some Easy Mac. Mm-hmm. Um, so, okay. I, I started watching that, but I got the same commercial five times. Oh, yeah. I've had From my local Aldi. <laughs> what? <laughs> In a row. In a row. Oh, Jesus. It's these, it's these kids, <laughs> and they're talking about going through Aldi, and I'm just like, after, like, I'm like, okay, I get it. You like knockoff Doritos. Uh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> now, is there is there an AMC app? Because uh, that no. would make my world. That's on Sling and View, uh, <sighs> unfortunately. They, there is an AMC app, but they don't put any of the episodes on. They put all the behind-the-scenes stuff on yeah, it. Yeah. I... Cool. <laughs> Downside of having a cheap cable package that doesn't include AMC. It's like. Yes. I guess I'll just fire stick. They raised U prices up too. It used to be thirty, now it's forty for the oh. for the basic. I know I looked at it because we're gonna have oh. to do that. Uh, I looked at Sling, but I, but Sling I don't think comes with a uh, digital DVR, which to me is important because in case I'm old, I get up at the you know back dimples of dawn. Oh, that's a great ass JIC reference. Way back when when Ooh. I first went to Days. Oh man, I don't think I know that one. It was, that was an right, episode title. That was right when I went to Days and. Yeah. Uh, and he's like, man, so you get up at the ass crack of dawn, huh? I'm like, dude, it's earlier than that. <laughs> it's a little back further dimples. up the back. Back dimples. <laughs> yeah. Um, but sometimes I get tired. And, uh, you know, dinner might run late. Toddler might run late. Things. And so I'm like, all right, tomorrow it is. It's DVR'd. So it's just going to have to be the way it is. Yeah. So now that we're all here. Yeah, what's up? Are you going to ask him the same question you asked us? Oh, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> we'll, we'll, what was we'll, that? We'll spare him. What, 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 what? No, he doesn't want to be spared. No. Or maybe he does. I don't know. Brandon. What? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, so first, it's, it's a multifaceted question. First question. If you could, would you suck your own dick? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> right out the gate, he has an answer. Now, next question. Would you say you're, you're, you're finally getting there? Mm-hmm. Would you, would you go? Would I go? Would you go? Would, would I go? Would you go? Hmm. <laughs> well, I mean, it's my own. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess I'll eat some pineapples before. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> this is totally different than with the way it went oh, earlier. Man. This yeah. is amazing. <laughs> oh, I mean, shit. Sure. I mean, I guess it's my own. I mean, I, I am of my own. <laughs> okay. okay. I mean, it's just, I mean, it's just like protein, I guess. I, I'm, I'm not weirded <laughs> out by it. <laughs> And don't you say protein. He says this earlier. <laughs> okay. You perfectly compliment me. That was so great. I mean. That was amazing. <laughs> yeah, sure. I mean, but like, don't eat like asparagus or anything. Like, yeah. You know, yeah. Man. Be mindful. So, Be mindful of yourself <laughs> at that point. <laughs> are you gonna, would you ask yourself the question like, hey, do you, you, you swallow? <laughs> do you, are you going to go through the process with yourself? I guess it depends it on how bad yourself. my back hurts. Oh my God! Talk it over with yourself, man. Get get all get all the answers. This is incredible. I'm learning so much about my friend right now. (laughs) Well, I mean, I mean, it's it's a good hypothetical because I I I literally cannot achieve this feat whatsoever. Yeah. So I I cannot either. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, (sighs) struggles of getting. I'm not afraid of things that are never going to happen. Things that could happen that scares me. (laughs) (laughs) That's a great quote, Brandon. Jesus. (laughs) Okay, so on to the real. What what we're all here? Star Wars dropped a trailer this week. Did well, last, last, last week? week yeah. yeah, last week and change. Did you guys talk about that? On we did. Talk we about just it talked about it and yeah, watched it a little bit. <laughs> oh, so before the last one was uh, uh, Justice League, wasn't it? Yeah, we about yeah. Before the last but we just like on the one we just did today. We talked about it. 
<laughs> you, he, he was fondling the balls there. Can, was... can we talk about it again? Sure, we can talk about Absolutely. it a little bit again. Bring it on. What do you think? Right, talk about it. What did you think? What did I think? No, I liked what do you it. think? Uh, so uh, it was it was said, hey, if you don't want this to be spoiled for you, don't watch it. Yeah. It's, it's potentially spoilery mm-hmm. as hell. Uh, so I was actually originally going to avoid it. And then it just came on my feed. And of course, I'm like, click. It's all about coming on his feed. <laughs> This is a theme for this episode. <laughs> yeah, apparently. You, do you tend to, feeding? Are you one of those people like? Cause I know I have some friends that like avoid like watching trailers going into. I like, don't a movie. normally. No. But you don't, the, but you don't the, like, the importance I don't, of Star Wars. I've said that I don't like sometimes when movies really don't need another trailer. Like when when they're stringing out fourth and fifth trailers trying to get people to come out, or when they start doing new TV spots that are like more additional clips to the trailer. Well, that are just what was the movie that they, so they could take all of the. The release trailer footage and get like ten minutes of movie out of it, or like five minutes. Was it Spider Man? Probably. Mm-hmm. That actually makes sense. There was a lot of teased stuff on with the Spider Man trailer. That was the and that was the time that I was getting frustrated because I'm like I'm already sold in the movie and I and you're like, did you watch the trailer? I'm like, no. <laughs> sometimes all you need is a tease, right? Well, sometimes yes. Uh, as far as like what they done with Star Wars, they did they did this with Force and they've now done this here where they did the trailer or the teaser and then the actual trailer just of, like a few months out. Or like when they were getting ready to do ticket presales. Yeah. So um, uh, sometimes when it comes to trailers, uh, I'm good with just the one taste. Uh, with this, I was, even though there was the warning, I'm like, I did not heed that warning with force. I'm not heeding it here. <laughs> I wanted to heed the warning, and then it just, it just happened. I watched it. And <laughs> just happened. <laughs> in the, it was in the moment, you know. Yeah, I still think my favorite thing was Chewbacca. Doing his thing, and then that little pork can fly. Yeah. I was like, "What the crap? What is this?" Yeah, it's like I, a... I think, yeah, I, it it could potentially spoil some things, but I also think it's a it's a one of those trickster trailers where well, they're edited. You know that one at the very end is clearly two different shots they've cut together. Mm-hmm. You can tell that, but the most people are just like, "Oh my god!" But no, there's clearly two different. At things the same going. time, uh, I mean, I'll, I'm willing to go all out and spoil the trailer. Oh, we already did on James. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. A couple days ago, we already watched the whole thing. No issue. So obviously, it shows Ray kind of what appears to be joining up with Kylo Ren. I'm okay with that. I I'm okay if that is not a trick cut. I'm okay if that actually happens because it's it's interesting. I could see him. What if Luke has like turned her away? Turned her away and like refuses to train her further. I can see him reaching out to her. You know, in that in that gesture of him like holding his hand out, and she's like, "I'm lost. This is a whole new world to me." And he's like, "Come with me." You know, I won't turn you away. Doesn't like mean do. she's gonna. Doesn't mean that she's gonna do it. But she it cuts the hand off. Yeah. <laughs> actually, actually, this is the second in the trilogy, so there will be a hand loss somewhere for sure. Yeah. Historically well, speaking, C three PO already speaking, lost. C three PO already lost his hand. Well, wait, you don't see it though. No, I know. And it's not a. It's not a, story and it's not a fun. saber cut. Yeah. So Fine. just being super technical well, about it. Also made it sound like he was gonna blow up his mother's ship. Yeah, it could be but, misdirect. Yeah. Uh, I will say you said it doesn't really have any too too many spoilers. I will say it has the most major spoiler, and it literally gives you the payoff from the Force Awakens with Ray officially handing the lightsaber oh, yeah. to Luke. Yeah. <laughs> like, the here's the thing you were waiting for that we actually didn't show you. Was our hand? Was I like. I like how Luke's like main face of the whole trailer has him going. <laughs> He's yeah. just like, huh? I wasn't scared, but now I'm just, but now I'm I like that line. <laughs> what is it? I can't remember what the. Whole it didn't frighten me then, or it didn't scare me enough then. Then it does now. Yeah. And I talked about this on JIC about how here's this young Ben with this raw, like endless potential of power, and he's like, oh, this would be a good kid to train. Hell yeah. And then here comes Ray, and it's like there again, and it's that same thing over again. And where he failed last time, he's like, "No, I can't do this." Yeah, yeah. I loved it though. I did too. It's good. I love the score. The uh, score. John Williams again coming in. I hope he stays on for Episode Nine. I hope he stays alive. It looks like we're gonna get more Phasma this time around. Yeah, oh, and I am definitely that excited that for that. Looked... Does she does something? Yeah. Finn, Finn <laughs> apparently defeated TR8. Traitor! <laughs> Traitor! Oh, no, TR8, huh? <laughs> yeah, TR8. Garbage wink. Garbage wink, wink. Uh, I think that 
Finn is an interesting character that doesn't hold like uh, you can look at the archetypes for The Force Awakens and kind of the stories they're building from the original trilogy. Finn's doesn't map to anyone they've done before necessarily. He's I not he's the to Luke. he's n- not even though. I mean, he isn't a Jedi by any means. You but know, he's a whiny character. So he's a whiny comical character. I mean. Well, yeah, I mean, kind, yeah, kind of, but like, he's just, I get, I, I get, I guess I get that, uh, he's a whiny comical character, but I'm talking about like, Poe is very much your Han Solo, and you've got Rey is kind of your Luke, really. I mean, she's a learning to be a, possibly a Jedi or whatever, and of course you have Kylo, who's kind of your Vader. You've got Snoke, who's kind of your Emperor Palpatine. There's all these parallels, but there isn't a direct parallel to a character from the original trilogy that is kind of what Finn is doing because there wasn't anybody who went from the Empire and betrayed that to help the resistance in canon as of right now, you know? At least with the movies. So mm-hmm. I just I think that's interesting because he's he's definitely one of my favorites. Yeah. And he's not gonna spend the whole movie in a coma. That's good. Well the first teaser you're like, oh he's in a box. Well, <laughs> great. Is he gonna get a Spock a Spock funeral too? <laughs> oh damn! <laughs> Superman did it. Why yep. not? Why not? <laughs> well, well, guys, I think we got some we got some reservations coming up. We do. So yeah. we should probably head this get this going. Uh, thank you all again for joining me. Thanks for having us. Of course. Glad to be back on podcast for my second time. I would have come down sooner if I had known I actually had a, a seat at the table. <laughs> it, it was for anybody. Oh, okay. It was for anybody who wanted to add, up add like, their two cents. It's here. Yeah. It's all still here. I didn't have to but do anything. The, the conversation will roll on. Oh, definitely. We're going to move this we're, into we're a... We're to Christo's. To Christo's to have a foodies thing, and it's going to be a classic foodies episode with the OG3 hosts. We don't have a fourth coming down, so... Um, we'll discuss that later. It's nothing terrible. Just uh, that's life. So we will uh, we'll wrap. Th- hey, Blaine, do you have plugs for your shit and stuff? Like, do, like that sounds wrong, but like <laughs> <laughs> all this butt stuff going on. Oh today. yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that happened. <laughs> oh yeah, you can find Podcastrophy on Facebook at facebook.com slash podcastrophy. You can hit me up on the Twitter. Slide into my DMs. On Twitter or wait, no, I fucked that up. <laughs> okay, slide to my DMs on Instagram at podcast for podcast. Same thing with Twitter. It's, no, but I don't use it. It's pod catastrophe. No, on, t- on Twitter I changed it to podcast. Did podcast you? Trophy podcast. Should have probably let the guy running the network know so I can change all your links to not go to a page that doesn't exist. I don't exist. even use Twitter. So okay, okay. I, I don't even use it. So okay, that's if, fine. If if somebody decides to tweet me, I'll use it. Okay. For okay. that specific tweet. Okay, I got you. <laughs> but you're not actively using no, Twitter. Okay, I'm, that's I'm, fair. I, I'm, I've officially moved on from Twitter to Instagram. Instagram's a shit. It is. More hashtags. But more. That, that's really all I got for plugs. Nate or Brando, take it away. I, I haven't had both of you on my podcast yet. Hey. Don't Can we do it? Views. No, no, no. Wonder you got to join. Uh-huh. It's like the shield, dude. Uh-huh. Yeah, bring it on. Uh-huh. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's a new fist bump. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing you, that you didn't add a D in there. Those fists were warm. Nude fist bump. <laughs> a nude fist bump is a whole different. That's like <laughs> that's like ultra docking. It's like activities. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> that's the, the title of the episode now. <laughs> okay, so I was working with Tyler up on fourteen. Yeah. And I'm still new up there, and 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 he's not, hasn't been up there that long either. Well, we both restart our like the tips of our guns out. And we both went to pull, and we slammed them into each other. And I'm like, "Whoa, dude! We oh, just yeah. power knocked." I forgot. I forgot you do that now. I did that. To, I did that with Rachel. Like, I, I was like, "Get the fuck out of here!" Like, we both, we were both like too afraid to go in. Yeah. And we both went in at the same time. Yeah. And I was just like, Boom. I forced it in. I forced it in and knocked her gun the fuck away. Uh, it was funny. I'm like, "Get the fuck out!" Of course, here. Tyler going with it goes. It was a unique experience. I can't say it's my, I gotta say it's my first. This, this guy we are, <laughs> so good. this Tyler character we were talking about, I he is in the front running for a possible co-host of podcast. Wow, that's I'm strong. I'm gonna say it here right now. That's strong. That's I haven't had him on yet. Bold. But I, if I were to have a co-host, 
I think I came up with a new segment for your show that I want to play around with What's because up? we should totally do unnecessary censorship and podcastrophe because the touching the gun story is great, but if there were certain words beeped and you weren't quite <laughs> sure what was being said, <laughs> holy yeah. fuck, it sounds like yeah. something We've totally different. Because like when you were saying all that, it was great, and then you said gun, and it took me out of it, but if you beeped gun and I wasn't quite sure what the word was, <laughs> holy shit. Yeah. Push it away. I just pushed her away. Whoa. <laughs> Oh shit! All right, Andrew, let's, let's hear some plugs. Yeah, where can we Plug find your show? show? You can find my show at the Poor Report on Twitter, at just the Poor Report on Facebook, and at the Poor Report on Instagram. Luckily, there's only one poor. It's just <laughs> me, <laughs> and he's so poor. This has been a poor catastrophe. A poor catastrophe. <laughs> Have a poor dick day. Have a poor dick day. Oh, God. Well, is that plugs. what we're going to do today? Let's hear your guys' plugs. Okay, so you can find some of my stuff on the journeytocomics.com, gameaddicts.com. I'm on shows all across the board. You can check out JIC at JIC Network on Twitter, Journey to Comics on Facebook, Journey to Comics on Instagram, Journey to Comics on YouTube, Game Addicts on YouTube, Game Addicts Podcast on Facebook, Game Addicts Podcast on Instagram, Game Addicts Play on Twitter. think that runs the gamut. Same. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, same. That's all I'm gonna say. Is same, like, well, except for I'm not on Game Addicts that much, that. but I, I've kind of been on Game Addicts a couple times. Cool, but uh, yeah, no. Uh, just go to journeyintocomics.com, and literally, you can get all of our links to all of our different things that we have going on. I've literally made it to where if you're on a desktop or you make your phone desktop view, on the side there's a sidebar. It has everybody in the network stuff. You can click it on your phone without doing that. If you go all the way to the bottom, oh really? Yeah, all that list. Oh. It's all there. It's all in an order. So if you're scrolling and there's no more episodes, that's where all that stuff is. Oh sweet! I actually never tried that. <laughs> He's like, I'm not going down that far. <laughs> <laughs> we thank the host of the house for staying. Right now. Oh Absolutely. man, so freaking lovely. Thank you, Gretchen and Rob, for having us over here. They definitely the were instrumental in this day running as smoothly as it was. It could have been an absolute train wreck. It is so far turned into not that. <laughs> it did not turn into a podcastrophe. Oh. It's been a podcast a mania, I guess is the way we'll say that. Um Blaine, thank you for having this show it's and thank you for having me on the show. Uh, that's all I got though. Yeah, it's a pleasure having all of you guys on here yeah. anytime. <laughs> so you guys want to say it with me? Yeah. What should we do? What should we do? Are we gonna make? We, you need just guys. Let's, let's just make, try to make every make every day, day a big, big dick big day. day. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That good. Yeah, I think that was yeah, cool. That was make good. every day a big, huge schlong day. That doesn't work uh, as well. That's not the song. Tri big veiny triumphant. Whoa, bastard. triumphant! I love that you threw triumphant, <laughs> triumphant. in there to <laughs> describe your genitalia. Bye, guys. Bye.